Well, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the garage, and welcome to Show and Tell Thursday. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew that was a thing? Uh, just making stuff up as we go along. Uh, it's actually going to be trucking Thursday here in a minute. I uh, thought we'd be opening up some cool things, showing what I found today. And we did a couple of things last night. Let's go ahead and zoom up in here a little bit. Why is this thing so far off? All right. Oh, Auburn. Indiana Jones. <sighs> the banana car. <laughs> it's a horrible. Uh, I was looking so forward to this casting. I really was. And I, I found it. And you know what? Uh, I was kind of disappointed. But then I got to look through those eyes. They're like, I'm not just a collector. I am I can take this thing apart. You know, you got to look through it with more creative eyes. And, and know your limitations. Uh, so I said, why not? I stayed up late last night. And I took it apart. Oh, and this canopy does come off, by the way. Um, there is a tab right there. I actually cut it off on the very bottom because there's a peg on the back of the seat where you can take it out. But in doing so, you can kind of see it's like a stress fracture now. So I cut this so I can slide it back on there if I want. If I want. So let's go ahead and move the banana boat down and take a look at this recolor. Recolor, baby. Top off. <laughs> I don't mind that top being funny looking, but I just had to do a recolor on it. Uh, the fenders are one piece plastic, so I basically, you know, primered it and hit it with a flat paint. What is going on with that? Did I not get that on there right? Uh, I'll fix that in a minute. Uh, doesn't look like I put the bumper in very well on the back. Uh, but we did didn't do a very good job on the grill. <laughs> it was kind of late last night I was just trying to get it done, but those wheels look correct for this. I love that color interior You can see where I messed up because the, the it felt Dry and when I put it in my hoodie sleeve to tighten in the bottom it got the imprint From my hoodie, but that's okay. Now. We know it can be done So we can redo it or I can just kind of wet sand it and hit it with another coat of clear I'm gonna give this one a couple of days to dry completely before I decide what I'm gonna do. And that front part, I can fix that anytime I want. But I just thought it looks a lot better in the color I chose, than the color they gave us. Uh, almost looks like a whole different car, man. Yeah, great casting. I'm, I'm glad I bought four because I will definitely be doing another one in a different color and fixing this one because this just, this just says money. I don't know about you, but that dark burgundy and the black fenders just says money. <laughs> so speaking of money, let's go to not money. Uh, took that green Plymouth and uh, just kind of did an old, you know, field finds sitting out there. Yeah, it's not the world's greatest distressing job. I'm out of weathering powder, so this was pretty much uh, salt chipping. You know, wet the car down, throw salt where it's stuck and dried. Great, hit it with red primer and then... I did kind of just played around with these weathering pencils, you know, drop drops of water and let it, you know, just dry where it was. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not good. Got dirty tires on it too. <laughs> like having dirty tires. Uh, but yeah, I had to do it. That color just that color speaks so period for the time, and I was like, yes, I can see it coming through with the the surface rust all over it. So that's what I did. And that's what I did last night. I, I did this car and I did this Auburn, which I'm happy with both of them. I, I'm happy with both of them. So let's go ahead and well, we'll just leave those on there. Let's just go ahead and take a look what we found. Uh, didn't find much today, but it inspired me to think of something else. So first thing up is I went to the Dollar Tree and they had a brand new sidekick of cars. So I picked up this Porsche Panamera. I don't think I have this one in red. I may be wrong. Focus. Uh, I don't think I do though. But uh, if it is, it's just a dollar. Why not? I have another one. Uh, and I did pick up this yellow Moon Eyes combi. Uh, why not? I did one. As a matter of fact, it's right here. This is one of the ones I had as an extra. So I just kind of just kind of went to town on it too, man. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. And then I went across the street to the HEB. Well, technically it's in the same strip mall. It is in the same strip mall. But they had the Easter cars, which I hadn't seen yet. 
and they had a dump bin like the four foot one that Walmart has they did have this black one and this new silver recolor I just picked up one more the black one because this one is by far my favorite color I have not seen the red yet so I, I can't really honestly say that but I'm just gonna say I like the black one better <laughs> and then this sweet little Mazda Ripu never picked this one up when it came out the first time around and so this one kind of inspired me as I was going through boxes the other day uh, I found a bunch of small trucks and I have a bunch of small trucks that are already loose inside the jammer so I thought why not let's just do a small truck you know Thursday and so that's what we're gonna be doing so this is just a short show and tell video uh, just to show you that you can take that ugly Auburn banana car and make it look better just take a little effort I did this in one night had I let the clear completely dry I, sh I should have known better uh, but I figured it was in front of the heater it would, it would cure faster but it didn't <laughs> so now I'm gonna have to redo it but it looks good looks good enough to show and tell and then this sweet Plymouth just looks good I like it I like it a lot anyway y'all that's all I got uh, as always thanks for stopping by the garage uh, y'all be safe be well and be kind and we'll be doing a truck video here shortly so as always I'll see you later grease monkeys <laughs>